So I have to get to work tomorrow. So I tried for an hour to get my car out and this was my bright idea that I would come to the Walmart parking lot and park my car here overnight and just walk home. So I'm just right across Windover. This is a stupid idea. So now I'm crossing Windover. It's like a wintry version of Frogger. There's no logs. And it's cold. Oh God. Those of you wondering, when you're trapped inside or you're wandering around the streets, TGI Fridays on Windover is indeed open. Also, O'Charlie's is open, so I'm starting to get a little weak. I may go in for soup or maybe try to find a place to stay for the evening. I've got another quarter mile to go, at least. I don't know if I'll be able to make it by nighttime. It's hard out here in North Carolina in these elements. As you can see, the roads don't really look that bad if you have like a, a small tank or an armored carrier or something like that, maybe a five ton. Um, you're not going to have any trouble getting around at all. By the way, Villa Rosa, uh, Mexican restaurant, it's closed until further notice. Um, if you're wanting a burrito, you're going to have to wait. Well, day two of my trek back home. Greensboro is way more vast than I could have ever imagined. But one of the good things is, is that the longer that I'm in the elements out here, the better I am at tracking in case I needed to forage for food or whatever. Oh, it's a window. They're open. No need to forage for food. You just stop there. I think they have a continental breakfast. Oh, Jesus, the snow is so deep. So do you can hear, hear my feet hitting the snow. Yeah, there's your moment of zen. As you can see, this is a good sign. As I spend more time out here in the elements, I'm getting better at tracking animals. So, these are the markings of a human. Very short stride length. Uh, probably, I would say somebody between the sizes of three foot five to four foot seven, wearing a size 11 and a half shoe. Kind of an odd looking character, but who else would be out in the snow other than me today? Oh, here we go. Quick survival tip for you. I uh, heard Bear Grylls used to say, you don't want to get too sweaty out in nature from working too hard. Because then you, you get frostbite. And after that, you pretty much lose toes. And I think I've seen the tip of a nose go missing before from frostbite. Just pretty bad. Um, so don't sweat. I'm pretty sweaty right now. After a long, torturous walk, I'm back in my neighborhood. That had to have been at least three quarters of a mile, if not a mile. I just walked in the snow uphill. I will tell you this, another survival tip for you. Bear Grylls didn't really say this. This is something that Josh Anderson says. Is that if you're going to wear snow boots, um, wear some longer socks because Ankle socks really don't cut it. I tend to have um, some blisters on my ankles. And uh, that made the last, I don't know, half mile or so pretty painful. Um, but I was trying not to cry because of the whole sweating tip earlier. I didn't want to get frostbite on my eyeballs or something like that. I don't really know how that works, but I can only imagine it sucks. Anyway, almost home. Talk to you later.